Right guys, just completed these garage shelves. Uh, if you want to see how I made these, uh, please watch the video. Thanks. Right folks, just a quick video. I'm going to be building some custom shelves the, on the back wall of my garage here. So this is basically just a plasterboard wall and it's got studs running down, obviously, in behind the, the plasterboard. So, so this is what I'm using to find uh, the studs in the wall and this is the Hansen stud finder. Yeah, these are fantastic. These, basically just a little magnet or two magnets on the back. Rub it along the wall until it grabs, you'll see where it grabs a nail, which is in the stud. And that, that shows you where the studs are. Again, slide it about. It'll grab onto a nail. So we know there's a stud there. So we know there's a stud there, a stud there. I've sort of marked them all the way along and now we can screw these battens onto the wall. Right, so how I'm fixing these on, I've already explained I'm fixing into the studs. But I'm using 6x100 uh, coach screws. So you can see one here, just the impact driver. And just screw that right through into the stud. So just do that all the way along. For all these and that'll be all them in place. All screwed into the studs. Um, these spacings have been, you know, I've set these to my my own requirements, but you can obviously have any, you know, gaps between there that you want. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get five matching timbers, uh, the same length, and just screw them temporarily onto these. So something that makes it easier here is just screw on a scrap piece of timber on the bottom of that one you're going to put it on. Just makes it easier now just to lay this on. So you can see now, I've just got that sitting on that scrap piece of timber. We'll get it lined up, temporarily screw it in place, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next one. Right, so that's all five beams doubled up. You can see that there, I've doubled them up. And these are, this beam here is just temporarily screwed to the this one here, which is, tempor uh, which is you know, permanently fixed to the wall. Uh, the idea of doing this is we can now fit the legs of the shelves. So there'll be four legs here, get them fitted and then we can unscrew uh, the second beam here and then we can pull this off the wall. Um, and the way, I, the idea of doing it this way is, you know, these will all be perfectly married up. So we'll right, so basically I'm just uh, spacing out the legs, you know, equidistant. So all these distances are the same. So we've got a four by two timber up there, all I'm doing is putting it in position, marking the back of that, cut it, and then get this in position and leveling it. You know, make sure it's plumb, or as neat as. Um, what I'm using to fix this is just 90 millimeter nails. Uh, I don't have any screws that are, like, that won't go right through into the second timber here. So I'm just using 90 millimeter, 90 millimeter nails so they don't penetrate this timber here into here, or I won't be able to get it off the wall. <clears throat> right guys, that's all the legs on now. See them, I've just put them on, trimmed the tops. Um, now we can release this frame and pull it away from the wall. <clears throat> right guys, that's it released from the wall. So this is basically floating now. As you can see that's floating. So what we need to do now is determine the depth. Make mine, I think it's 500 millimetres, I think I'm going to make it. Or 600, basically half the width of a, a sheet of ply. Just under half, um, just to maximise the amount of material we can use. Right, so that's the front brought out from the wall and I've put in end pieces here um, just to get the, the size. I'm going to make the depth 500 millimetres. Um, I've basically put noggins in at the end as well. So the next job, I think I'm going to put the plywood in next and then I'll put uh, support braces in afterwards. Um, just because I don't know if I can get the plywood in, so <laughs> I'll, I'll see. But I don't want to put all these in and find out I can't get the plywood in, so I might have to feed that through the top. Right guys, so I'm basically cutting the plywood now. So I'll just use my table saw for that. And this is obviously the width of the, the shelving. So I've got a heap of these to cut. 
and then we'll get them placed on the shelf in there at the back. So carry on with that at the moment. Um, if you don't have a table saw, you can just use either a circular saw, track saw, well, any sort of saw. You could even use a hand saw if you want, just to get these cut to size. Right, guys, I was right enough. I had to leave like the noggins out so I could manage to slip that plywood in. But that's pretty much all the plywood in now. And I was just trying in these boxes because I'd actually built this specifically at that size for those. Um, but anyway, that's the plywood in. It's all loose. Um, so I basically just need to screw it down. Yeah, I'm just going to use small screws, you know, sparsely placed, just in case I need to ever remove that. Right guys, I'm just doing the finishing touches to this, so I'm, as I, as I was saying before, I got the plywood in and now I'm putting the bracers in, so I'm just putting in like noggins in there. So with these, there's a couple of ways you can fix, I'm just using a nail gun, toe nail on it in there, like that. Or obviously if you don't have a nail gun. You could just use like the 100mm screws, put them in at an angle and just sort of tore the them in like this. That gives you a good enough fix in. And then on the front I'm just face fixing them again with the 100mm screws, like this. So that's the supports in, so face fix there and just toe nailed in at the back there. And um, what that does obviously is gives you, you know, really good support on there. So I've got a few more of these to do. I'll do them pretty much down the centre of here. Uh, I'm not really going to need them over there because there's nothing going to be heavy on there. Same with here, there's not going to be that much, just screws and stuff. So I'll just uh, put them down the centre. And by doing this, this also helps fix the, the front of the frame to the, to the back that are secured to the wall. So it just makes it a lot more secure and prevents, you know, these lengths here from twisting. Right guys, that's it pretty much finished. Uh, sorry about this, we've got a little monkey here. She's so just testing out the strength of it. Is it okay, Charlotte? Thumbs up? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's my glamorous assistant. So basically this is uh, finished off now. So we'll get rid of this little monkey and then we'll go through the materials used, the costs and such like. Yeah, so the materials used for this was, for the cross members, was 5 by 2 C16 pressure treated timber. Um, maybe this is a bit overkill, but the reason I used 5 by 2 is so it doesn't like bow over time. Um, it gives you a stronger sort of shelf. Uh, for the legs, I used 4 by 2 C16 pressure treated timber, which can be picked up fairly cheaply. And for the plywood, I used 11mm thick cardboard or hardwood plywood. Um, just because it sort of matches everything else I've got in my garage. Um, but you could use OSB, marine ply, probably MDF if you wanted, um, as long as the shelves are supported. So that was it. And the total cost for this was roughly about £200. Um, this is, I'm in the UK, so £200 sterling. So I guess 260-ish dollars uh, if you're in the States. Um, um, all the fixings I used was pretty much 6mm by 100mm coach screws for, you know, screwing all this together, as you saw in the video. Um, I did use some 90mm nails f for one stage, but again, you can use anything, you know, just whatever screws you've got to hand. Uh, so, that was that. So, that's it. I'll continue loading this up now. Uh, the only other thing I'll be doing to this is I'll be, I'll be storing a lot of screws on here, different sizes and stuff, so I'll probably put some partitions in here um, just to keep everything pretty much organised. Uh, this area is earmarked for ironmongery, which is why I've got the, the braces in there, because that'll be quite heavy. So I'll get this all sectioned off, all organised. Right, thanks Charlotte, what do you need to say? Oh, if you didn't hear that, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks, Charlotte. You can climb down now. Anyway, guys, hopefully this was of some use to you. Hopefully it was some help. And if it was, please give us a thumbs up. That always helps the video perform. And if you're new to my channel, uh, please uh, consider subscribing. That would be hugely appreciated. 
it, guys. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye.